the topic we are going to start today is metals and non-metals starting with the brief introduction of metals and non-metals metals and non-metals are a type of elements at present there are 118 elements known to us which have been broadly divided on the basis of their properties into two main groups as metals and non-metals this classification was given by Lavoisier coming on to the position of metals and non-metals in the periodic table I'm writing periodic table with P T the diagram shown here is an outline picture of periodic table which shows the position of metals and non-metals the metals have been placed in the extreme left hand side as well as in the center of the periodic table while the non-metals are placed on the extreme right hand side of the periodic table here it should be noted that hydrogen is an exception hydrogen is an exception as it is a non-metal but it is placed on the left hand side of the periodic table metals and non-metals as shown in the diagram have been separated from each other by a zigzag line the elements close to the zigzag line are called metalloids also called semi-metals as they show the properties of both metals as well as non-metals So, metalloids are the type of elements which show the properties of both metals as well as non-metals. Some common examples of metalloids are boron, silicon, germanium, etc. Moving on to the general properties. of metals and non-metals starting with the electronic configuration of metals electronic configuration represents the arrangement of electrons in the atom of any element so beginning with the electronic configuration of metals atoms of metals have one or two or three electrons in their outermost shell so we can identify any metal by the number of valence electrons valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell of an atom so metal have one two or three electrons in their outermost shell for example sodium the symbol is na its atomic number is 11 and its configuration is 2 